Hi everyone, I'm Mark Carraway. I'm the director for the Blue Ridge Virtual Governor School and I'm very pleased to welcome you to our back to school video for the upcoming school year. In the past we've done actual back to school nights but with scheduling issues for parents and with the distances involved to get to those meetings um, it's very difficult for many of our parents and students to make those back to school meetings. So we felt that this year we're going to try something different. We're going to do this in video format to put the information out to parents and students and then you can contact us with any questions you might have regarding that information. So a few things that are going to happen in this video. Uh, we're going to do some nuts and bolts stuff like going through uh, briefly our handbook, our uh, pro upcoming projects and events, and giving you information on how to contact us. We're also going to introduce the Blue Ridge core staff, which includes myself and three other staff members. Uh, we support 600 students across seven counties. Uh, we do that by managing the curriculum and the events that the students do through the course of the year. So our staff members are our online learning coordinator, uh, Mr. Jerry Reynolds, our technology specialist, Ms. Sally Alton, and our administrative specialist, Ms. Christy Bunovich. And you'll hear from each of those in the video and a little bit about their role and then what you need to know as a parent and student about their role in Blue Ridge. So before we get into the nuts and bolts stuff, what I'd like to do is talk for a minute about the purpose and mission of Blue Ridge. We're here to be a program that offers students opportunities above and beyond their local school offerings. Uh, as you know, students apply to get into the program. They're in the program usually from 9th through 12th grade, and they'll have a chance to experience a number of different classes and learning opportunities throughout uh, through Blue Ridge. And so a lot of what parents and students need to know is what opportunities are available and how do I take advantage of those. The bigger picture is our mission, and that is that our mission is to challenge and inspire our students through offering unique learning experiences to them. Um, this can be courses, this can be outside of uh, class experiences like Model UN or international travel. Uh, we have a lot of different opportunities. So that's what we spend a lot of time doing. And the primary purpose for doing that is that we want to help our students develop the skills that will help them to be successful in college and the world beyond high school. Specifically, some of the skills that we work on are things like time management, research and writing, collaborative problem solving, public presentation, and professional communication. So students will learn those skills throughout. We hear from our graduates that those were very helpful in being ready for the college environment or the work environment after high school. So that's what we're going to spend a lot of time working on. And I think the thing that is important for parents to know about that is sometimes these opportunities are challenging. They're meant to be challenging. And in challenging students, sometimes we get students a little bit out of their comfort zone. So for parents, I think uh, knowing that uh, students may need some support at different times when they're faced with some of these challenges. Um, also knowing that you can communicate with us, the core staff of Blue Ridge, to help support your child to get through those challenges is a critical piece for parents. So without any further ado, we're going to get into the nuts and bolts stuff and I'm going to take you on a little tour of the Blue Ridge website where you can find a lot of the critical information. Okay, as I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to spend a few minutes taking you on a quick tour of the Blue Ridge homepage where you can find a lot of the important information that I mentioned earlier. So it's not too hard to find our homepage. One of the easiest ways is to go to a search engine like Google or Bing and type in our school initials, B-R-V-G-S. And when you do that, the top hit will be our homepage. When you get to the homepage, one of the first things you'll notice is that we have a lot of news items posted. These are usually things that are upcoming events for Blue Ridge or upcoming opportunities for students or things that have recently happened. So it's a great place for parents and students to check in regularly uh, to see what's going on and what kind of opportunities might be coming up for students. Uh, an important place on the website is this line of links up here. These are drop downs uh, to different things. Um, each one of these uh, has a lot of different information and we're not going to go through all of that, but I want to call attention to some of the most critical pieces. So over here in About BRVGS, if you get down to the third item, this is our handbook. And we'll be asking parents and students to certify that they have uh, reviewed the handbook for the upcoming year. On the handbook, we have a number of different policies and procedures for the program. Uh, you can find all the, uh, the different things in the table of contents on the third page of the handbook. So things like our honor code, our academic standards, our grade appeal process, our late work policy, uh, our expectations for field trip participation and behavior, 
all of those are outlined in the handbook. So again, important for parents and students to go through together on those. Uh, one of the things I want to draw your attention to, which is new to the handbook this year, and that is a schedule of events on page 20 here. This is the uh, schedule of events, basically an outline of what will take place um, in each of the courses uh, for the year. So for example, in the ninth grade world history course, you can see all the different field trip events that we'll have. Well, six different things. Um, and the same for AP biology. Online courses, we kind of break those out between the spring and uh, fall and spring and year long. And then our senior courses. So this is kind of a rough sketch of what the year looks like. The specific dates will be given out by um, the teachers uh, locally at the schools, or you'll get those through your field trip permission forms. But just this is a good way to be aware of what will be coming up for Blue Ridge events. So to come back to the uh, website, a couple of other things that are important. Uh, one is um, that parents can access the guidelines and dates for all of our projects. Um, all of our students take uh, on different projects in each different course. So world history will start with the technology through the ages virtual museum project down here. Um, and each of these uh, links is to a website that gives information about that project. So for example, if you click on this world history project, you'll find the guidelines and kind of the outline of what this project actually involves. Over here on the left side, you'll find a menu which will give you things like the project dates. And you can see that this project goes all the way from uh, the uh, last part of August into the very last part of November. Uh, again, part of what we're trying to work with students on is time management and how to, how to actually manage a project that long so we break up the due dates. Uh, you'll also find links to things rubrics and some of the project topics and the research paper guidelines. So every project should have some form of backbone like this that you can access through the through the website. So one final thing on the website and that is uh, if you need to contact us and you don't have a specific uh, email address to do so there is a contact us button. This actually goes to the entire administrative team so all four of us uh, in the core Blue Ridge staff. So anytime you want to uh, get in touch with us on something. Again, you don't have our email. This is a great way to do that. So hopefully this has been helpful. If you have questions about this as you go through it, you can uh, email us or use the contact button and uh, find us that way. Um, and again, hopefully you will find a lot of useful information on here. So stay tuned for updates from the other Blue Ridge staff members, and I'll catch you at the end of the video. Thanks, Mr. Carraway. I'm Sally Hill-Outen, the Instructional Technology Resource Specialist for the Governor's School. I'm going to take a moment and just show you where all the tools and information regarding technology are on our website for you and your students. So as Mr. Carraway said, you can always access our website at brvgs.k12.va.us. I'm going to take a moment and just show you where some things are that should be helpful for you and your students. All Blue Ridge students are issued a Google Apps account, which includes email, document drive, uh, calendar, and websites. They can access it by going to our website and clicking on this uh, BRVGS icon that says users after it. When they click on that, the website will drop down and the first option is their Google Apps login link. There are some other tools up here that your students will use through some of their classes, um, and I'll let them explain them to you as they start to learn to use them. Not all of them will be used in every class. While your student is in their Blue Ridge account, we do use a tool called GoGuardian that records what they're doing. Um, this is not to catch them doing something bad, but more to be able to keep an eye and make sure they're staying on track. If you would like more information about it, you're always welcome to contact me with any questions or concerns. Students can get help from us under the resources tab where there's the tech help desk. This is a form that they can submit to that sends me all information on any trouble they're having with either hardware or um, software or their account. And this goes to me and lets me help them as fast as possible. During the school day, students have access to the Blue Ridge laptop cart in their classroom, but they may need a laptop at other times for at home or on trips or when we're working on big projects. To help with that, under the resources tab, we have a link called Laptop Loans. This is a program where students are able to check out a laptop for use outside of the school day. Um, we do ask them to do two things. They need to submit to an online form to reserve the laptop, and then they have to fill out an agreement form that parents also have to sign, ensuring that everybody knows that a laptop is coming home. Now we can't provide internet access at home, but we can make sure these laptops are set up to connect to the school network. So at the end of the day, students can sync down any work that they need to work on 
work on it at home offline. And then when they get back to school in the morning and connect to the internet, all their work that they've done will sync back up and be ready for them. Thank you for your time. And now I'm gonna hand you over to Mr. Reynolds, our online learning coordinator. And well, I hope you enjoy it. Who am I? Hello and welcome to Blue Ridge. I'm supposed to start this video by telling you who I am. Well, my name is Jerry Reynolds, and I'm part of the Blue Ridge admin team. And what am I in our BRVGS world? What am I? I am what I am! Well, yes, I am what I am, but I'm not really Popeye. I do eat me spinach, though, so... Hmm. In reality, I'm the online learning coordinator. When the students reach their junior year, they must take an online course. We have a large selection of courses for them to take, and I'm in charge of organizing all these courses, colleges, registrations, logins, everything that a student needs to be successful in what could be their very first online class. I am the master of hundreds of workers. They all look to me. Oh, just kidding. I do work with lots of students but I'm not really their master. In fact, this online environment will teach them to be the masters of their own education and learn how to advocate for themselves when needed. And I'm here to help them be successful in these endeavors. So, after a junior takes their required online course, they can then take any of the others as electives, and as a senior, they can continue to take more of our online courses. Let's take a look at this in more detail on the program of studies. So here we are on our favorite website, the Blue Ridge Virtual Governor School homepage. So let's go under academics and choose program of studies. This document's going to give you an overview of all four years of Blue Ridge, so please look at it in more detail when you have a chance. For now, we're going to scroll down to the 11th grade. You can see here clearly it states that all Blue Ridge students must take at least one of the following online courses. And you can check out the details and syllabus of each course listed. This changes from year to year as we look to add more learning opportunities for our students. Again, every course listed can also be counted as an elective if the student chooses to take more online courses. At the bottom of our program, let me keep scrolling down here past our 11th grade, you can see listed elective courses that can be taken. We have two courses offered through James Madison University. And finally, I want to point out down here at the very bottom of our document, an opportunity for students to find their own individual online elective courses in areas of their own interest. We'll have them go through an application process, and if approved, this can be a great chance to study something that we don't offer from the list above. In the past, we've had students take psychology, economics, biology, law, government, a whole plethora of courses. Well, thanks for watching and putting up with my video silliness. Hope I was able to explain my role here at Blue Ridge and explain what happens during a student's junior and senior years. Please don't hesitate to email me if you have further questions about our online courses. Hi, my name is Christy Bunovich, and I'm the Administrative Specialist for Blue Ridge Virtual Governor School. Um, that probably doesn't tell you anything, um, but the way I like to explain it is the front office of your high school, well, that's me for Blue Ridge Virtual Governor School. Um, I do all those kind of things. I collect a lot of information. I connect people. I get supplies. I organize field trips. I do bookkeeping. I do a little bit of everything. and. Um, so I'm actually a good person to email if you have a question. Um, if I don't know the answer, I will find the person that does. And um, so um, my job includes lots of different areas. And um, one of them is the handbook, which will be coming out in a couple weeks. Um, and it's on our website. And that will need to be um, read through and then signed. 
Um, the way you can sign it is through an online form that we have that will be on our website in a couple of weeks. And we also will email it out to everybody, that link. Um, and the um, handbook is just our policies and procedures for the year. And um, on that same form for signing the handbook, um, we're collecting information for our all call system. We do send out um, messages reminders of um, upcoming events and that kind of thing. And it's a great time to update your phone number and your email address with us so that you don't miss out on those good reminders. And um, so if you have questions, feel free to email me. And uh, my email is just K, my first initial, and then Bunovich, my last name. And that's B-U-N-O-V-I-C-H. And then at brbgs.k12.va.us. Um, so I look forward to working with you and um, to another great year at Blue Ridge Virtual Governor's School. Hello again, everyone. We want to thank you all for watching this video, and we hope you found the information useful. Parents, we also want to thank you for your support of your Blue Ridge child and for the program. One of the big principles for Blue Ridge is to communicate early and often, and we hope to hear from parents anytime that you have a concern or question or anything you want to know about the program. So please feel free to contact us. We also will communicate with you when we have new opportunities or recurring opportunities or upcoming events in the program. So please keep an eye out for that. We hope that you all have a great start to the school year. Thanks again for your support of Blue Ridge. Have a great year.